One moment. There we go. Everybody hear me? Good morning. It's Friday Fun Day. Yay. And we have a fun project today. And um, it is a pillow. Hopefully you can see it. But it's also a book pillow, so you can put a book in. So I made this one so that my, um, I put Grandma Loves and Dream and Inspire and Discover. And so you can put anything in this one that you want. So today I'm not going to do any embroidery. I'm actually going to show you how to make this pillow. It is so clever the way that Kimberbell has done this. Um, so I went ahead and did the embroidery because the embroidery takes at 700 um, stitches per minute. It took it takes 47 minutes to do it, and I didn't think you wanted to watch me embroider for uh, 47 minutes. So I decided to put as my word in the middle of it, create, because that's what we're doing. We're we're creating. You can discover, you can believe, you can create, you can dream, and you can inspire. So I thought that was a really fun thing to do. So that was my word for the for the pillow. So what I want to do is show you, and I'm going to go to my overhead. Let's see, did it change it? Overhead. Do I have to wait? Is it coming soon? We'll wait. We're waiting for the camera. In the meantime, the mouse, maybe use the manual button, you know, the ones on the Okay, so let me see. see if I can do it this way. Oh, okay. All right. So what you're going to need when you start this, and let's go over the um, supplies first. And um, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to do this here. I can do that so you can see it. You're going to need a medium tearaway stabilizer. And then on your fabric, you want to put, and I don't know if you can see, I've done it. I, I used fusible woven on the back of the full piece of the front of the pocket. So the pocket piece, I went ahead and put fusible woven on it. And then you want to mark the center. So I went ahead and marked the center, but I like to mark my center just like even a half an inch center because we have our wonderful machines that have a pinpoint and they're they do a good job of finding your centers and you can do it in the hoop and you can get your center so um, that works I don't do the big long lines across the whole piece and then um, you're going to use some fun things for the inside and let's see if you can see that I'm going to turn it around this way okay um, on the top here is I used the leather, the blue, navy blue leather. This is their fun um, felt that is, they used it in two places on here. And then I used a couple of pieces of fabric. And on the lighter fabric, I also backed it with um, fusible woven so that it gives you a better um, stiffness to the book on that. You'll need a pocket front that is 13 inches by 21 inches. And here is my change. So if you've already ordered this or you've got the pattern, they tell you to um, cut a piece of the handle, okay, which is, I've got it here. The handle is four inches by nine inches, and I made mine kind of the fl floral color. And then they also ask you to do a pocket accent of two and a half inches by the 21 inches. So when you look at this, I went ahead and did that. I have a seam at the top here that when you fold it over, I decided why put an extra seam in? So what I'm going to suggest that you do is on your pocket facing that they talk about or the lining, I added two and a half inches to that. So I made mine, this is pocket lining, two and a half inches wider, so it's going to be 15 and a half inches by the 21, which you can use a fat quarter for this, for, for your lining and also for the handle. So you've got both of them there. So that was my suggestion. That way you don't have to sew a piece on. It just seemed like it was wasted. 
And then um, you will also need the pillow form. And I love these colors. So this is my pillow form that I chose. And it, I think it's so pretty. These pillows are just so fun because they already have the zipper pull in them already done, which is really, really cool. So, um, so let's go on. So when you put your center, you're going to mark it the center and then you're going to mark one inch up. So I marked one inch up and then that is going to, the one inch up and your center here is where you're going to put the center of your design. So the first thing that it's going to do is stitch out the placement line for some plain colored fabric, usually like a vanilla or cream color, and that's for the pages in your book, okay? So you'll stitch those out first. And then the next thing that you're going to stitch out, you're going to trim your fabric from that. And then it's going to stitch out, you can see it looks like lines of a pillow or lines of a book pages on each one of these. It doesn't do any raw edge here, so you've got to be careful. So when I use the cream color uh, fabric, I did back it with fusible woven just because it does make it so that when you cut a raw edge, it doesn't, um, it doesn't pull off. So um, you don't get the, the, looks like it's a ragged edge or anything like that, like this. <laughs> So when you do that, then the next thing it's going to do is sew the placement line for the felt that goes on this book. So I have my water soluble thread in and I went ahead and did the placement line. I did the tack down. Then I cut my um, fabric and then it goes on and moves on to the next one where it actually does this piece. And um, placement, tack down, and then it moves on to this piece placement, tack down, and then you've got another piece of your book here that coordinates with this book, this piece here. This is the front of your book. So I went ahead, you put that down, and then you do the next one where you do the placement, the tack down. Now here's the one that you're going to put whatever you want as your wording in it. So, um, but that comes last. Then the next is the placement for this other piece of pink felt and then the placement for your leather. And all of it has satin stitch around it except for the pages. So um, you, you don't have to worry about raw edges. And then this front of this book is actually all stitches, which is really kind of nice. So you're just going to go through the whole thing. And then in the end, you're going to um, take it and then put what you want here. So, and you can do anything. You could put the child's name in here if you wanted to. You could do anything like that. I like the word create because all of these are things that you discover, you believe, you create, you dream, you inspire. So it kind of went along. I kept, I went into the um, Google, what words of an inspiration can I find? And create, I thought, is exactly where we are. And so I use create then for that. So once you've got this all done, um, then you're going to remove it from the hoop, which is what I've done. I tore away all of the stabilizer from the back. And then um, it tells you to iron on the st uh, stabilizer for the back of this one. Okay. And I didn't do that this time, which I should have, but that's okay. And then what I did on my handle is you... I put fusible woven and then I put fusible fleece and it gave it a little more body to it. And so, um, and then I just will clip, sew down a quarter or eighth of an inch on each side for the handle. So that is my sewing. And then um, we're moving on to page number nine. And then what they want you to do is sew on that piece. So I'm going to sew because I didn't have that extra piece. I'm going to go ahead and just sew this. So I'm going to take you over to the machine and I'm going to quickly sew this. So let's see if I can do that. Let's see if it moves. Ah, we're good. So I have thread in here that matches the outside of both kind of both fabrics. 
and this is a little bit thick and I want to set it. I have it set on a straight stitch and um, it's also about a I'm going to make it a 3.0 just because it's a handle it's decorative you could put a decorative stitch down here if you wanted to you could sew two different ones if you wanted to. Also, when it's a thicker fabric, I always, I always increase my stitch length too. Yes, yes. It just makes it go a lot easier. And you, I don't know if you can see the stitching on there. A little bit. So I'm going to go on the other side. That's on the folded side, which is fine. And I'm just doing about an eighth of an inch. I'm using the inside of my foot, not the edge, the quarter inch, but the inside to give it that eighth inch. Okay. That's done. And then I'm going to take it back to 2.5 to just do this seam here. I shouldn't have to backtrack. I do it kind of automatically. I've been working on something uh, because you're going to be cutting some of this off. So I use two fat quarters for the front of this pillow. Um, two different colors, obviously. Take this back using the overhead. So I'm going to go ahead and what they say to do next, your finished pocket should measure 19 inches in width. So when I fold my pocket over, let's see if you can see this. I should get the iron on real quick too, because I should be pressing this. So right now, my measurement is 21 inches. So I ne definitely need to take off an inch, which is what they tell you you need to do, an inch on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead using my Frixion pin. And I could just cut it, but I want to make sure that my measurements are good. So they tell you to, to mark it. And you can see this side is a little bit off, so I want to make sure that I've got it. And if I measure this inside here, I'm right at 19. So now I know. Let's see if I can. It's voila. Okay, so I've got that. Then the next thing it wants me to do is measure 12 and a half inches down from the top. So what I'm going to do with this is because, and I just want to show you this, if I make it go down to the bottom like this, it has a nice edge right here. Oops, you can't see that. So that's where my little top is, and I really like that. So. I'm going to go quickly iron this, so I'll be right back.
Okay, so I pressed it so it's down. Now I am going to fold it right sides together, which is probably what I should have done more, but that's okay. And then it says to measure down 12 and a half inches. So if I put here, and then I'm going to let's see if I can move this up so you can see. Twelve and a half inches here. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm going to cut it down. So now what I'm going to do, <coughs> I need my clips. Is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down this side right here, kind of making a, like a pillow myself before I'm even getting there. So let me go ahead and sew that. Take you back to the machine. Yeah, my grandson just started to read, and he's five years old, and he's actually reading books instead of just looking at the pictures, and um, he's so excited we're going up in a couple of weeks and um, to read me a book, and I thought this is the perfect gift to give him for this. So I'm going to take the overhead again. Okay, so I've sewn across, and it kind of you can see that I've sewn all the way across there. So I'm going to turn the, and it says a half an inch. I did a quarter of an inch, and I'll explain to you why in a second. So what I'm doing is I am leaving. And I want to show you here. Can you guys see how you, you marked an inch in from the pillow and you're just going to sew this down. And um, I feel like it needs to match so that it ties in this piece right here. So my new design is so that this folds there and then I can sew down on the edge and then I can also sew here just to give it a little more stability. So let me go and press one more time. So this will now measure 12 inches by 19 inches this way. Okay. Oh, it looks so pretty. Isn't it pretty? I love this yeah. color. So I'm going to be right back. I'll be back. <laughs> that Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Okay, so now I'm back, and what I've done on my pillow is they want you to put the pillow down, they want you to, hopefully I didn't hit that here, okay, mark one inch up from the zipper, okay, your zipper is on the left hand side, and I'm going to take the wrong side of the pocket, 
and I'm going to place it on that line. And here's where the clips won't really work. I will put a clip here. Do you want pins? I got a couple. Oh. Those are probably better than these. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. pin one more right on that line here. Okay, can you see I've pinned it twice. There's a marked one inch line and I'm just going to sew all the way across this side. So, I'm going to change cameras. My zipper is still closed at this point. You don't have to open your zipper up. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm there. And once again, I'm using the edge of my foot. Okay, so now I have my pocket, and let me take it over here so you can see it. So what I want to do with this one more time is I'm going to stitch across the bottom here just to give me a little bit more of a um, strength. So let me go ahead and do that. Because I know I've got two boys and they are going to tug and pull and try and fill it fuller than they should. And not only that, I think it makes a prettier seam on the bottom. So in essence, they said a half an inch. I'm technically doing a half an inch. Okay. Now, let me take you back to the table. Let's see if I can get it up. See how nice that makes that look? Just, I like the, the way that just makes it a little bit um, more, kind of, uh, gives it a little more character. So then what we're going to do is mark at the top, you find your center, okay, which I went ahead and did, 
and then you measure two and a half inches on each side. And then what you do is I'm going to put it in the center of that. You want to make sure that this stays so that it stays the roundness like so. And I'm going to go straight across here. Okay? And this one I'm going to go a couple of times, even though I know I'm going to go around it again. Again, these are boys that are going to be throwing this pillow around. Boys throwing pillows around? Imagine that one. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Grandma will be the one that throws it the hardest. <laughs> Snowball fights, pillow fights, it's all the same. It's all batting. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I've got my pillow, I've got my handle, and this is the silliest thing ever. You're going to throw this, only I'm going to open my pillow. And you're just going to fold it up, making sure you've got your edges in. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Now, what they say in the instructions, which is kind of interesting, is don't sew past a half an inch. So I'm going to put my clip there so I won't sew it there. Now I'm going to sew a half an inch all the way around. And now I need clips and I know you have some here. Okay. And then the top, of course, we're going to go around. So I'm going to go ahead and put a clip at the top. And their pillow, you know, sometimes their pillows are a little bit out of whack, but um, I found with these 18 inch ones, they, there's a lot of give on it, so it really works out nicely. Let me go ahead and put this here. I believe they say to sew, I want to say, using a half inch seam allowance all the way around, which is really hard for me. It's either five eighths or a quarter. I don't, half inch is like, okay. So once again, they say to stop at a half an inch. I and because of the zipper and everything, so I'm going to go ahead and put my marker there that I need to stop right there. And then I will also, with this, mark it. And mark it. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is sew all the way around, and I like to do it twice, again, because they're boys. <laughs> And um, so let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to put my regular foot on rather than the quarter inch foot. And remember, I need to start a half inch down from the top and I want to make sure that I'm a half inch in. I like to put my needle down first and 
go ahead and stitch it. And I thought these are great housewarming gifts even for people. There's, I mean, there's, I love these pillows. You can do so much with them with just, you know, embroidery or um, just close them up and, and they're, they're prettiest colors. I know. You can get that here at Triple A. <laughs> I love that Kisses fabric and um, I love the floral that I got. It so matches. That's why I guess I want to see more of it on the pillow. Yet if I used it with the books, it, you, it wouldn't show off that much. Okay, again, because I'm going on an angle, I'm going to sew three steps at a cross there. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to rotate. And that just makes your points better. Okay. Now here's where my handles are. So it kind of pulls up on it, so I've got to be careful. I need to make sure that I catch the handles and I don't catch the wrong part of the handle. Staying my quarter or half inch. So I'm going rather slowly over that. to the corner, turn it, quarter turn I guess, diagonal turn. I stitch usually two but because they're bigger I'm going to stitch it three because you've got all that quilting in there. down to my half inch mark and go backtrack okay and then I want to check inside to see if I caught my edges and it looks pretty good on that side looks pretty good on that side so I'm going to go ahead and go one more time around it should go pretty quick, just for Quarter turn, go one, two, three, quarter turn, all the way across. Quarter turn. Turn one more time. There I go. All right, let's 
see the unveiling. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Did she go too fast? Did she <laughs> speed around? Not you. Not me. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Did I put it on the wrong side? <laughs> oh, it's looking good. I need my point turner. Hold on a second. I want to push those points out. Okay, one down, four more to go, or three more to go. I guess I have a five point pillow. <laughs> That would be a new one. That would be a new That's one. That's a first. That's, That's a first. A first yes. For everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lainey would always do it. Oh, see, I didn't catch this year. <clears throat> you didn't see that. We'll <laughs> fix it later. Yeah. Zip. <clears throat> and the reason they do that is because you can see with the invisible zipper, it takes that bulk. Cute. Super cute. So you got the. Oops. Oh my god, super cute. There we be. Pillow is done. Dun 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 dun. And I like the top. And I have. I happen to like. Them, oh, sorry. <clears throat> I like my top that has the top on it. Just add some more depth to it. And then I like the bottom where it's got just a little bit to tie those two pieces in. So just a little bit different, but um, a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. So that's it for this time, guys. So you'll do your own embroidery. And the, just think about it. You can do anything on this pillow, any kind of design whatsoever. So um, just a lot of fun. Any questions? You can get the design today, since yeah. today is April Fool's Day, but I'm not fooling. You can really get it today. <laughs> yeah, so, send it out today. So they'll send it out today. Okay. That's it. I am going to say Friday outro. We will see you again next Friday. That sounds good. Bye, everyone.